Hello everyone. Today we are going to see incidence matrix and its observations for any graph. Now we know that how to find incidence matrix. Its graph is between vertices and edges, and its elements are this a i j, where this a i j are here zero, one, and two. Now when that zero is, when element is zero, when vertex is not incident with any edge. and that aij is here one when that vertex is incident with any edge and this is here aij is here two when that at any vertex there is a loop so now here we have to find incidence matrix for this graph for this incidence matrix this is is given by this aij of order here this is here Five vertices and here these are six edges. So this incidence matrix is of order five by six. So we will write here this matrix. Here we will write vertices. This is here A, B, C, D, and this E here. This is here five vertices, and now here we have this is six edges. So we will write edges here E one, E two. E three, E four, E five, and this is E six. Now here we have written vertex in here. This is rows and edges in here column, right? So now we will find all these elements here. So now we will check here. This A vertex is incident with this edge E five and E six. So For E five, we will write here this one, and here at this vertex A here we have loop. So for this loop, we will write here this two here, and all other elements are here zero, right? So by this is here we have written element. This is one when vertex is incident with H, and two for this loop. Now we will check for vertex B. Vertex B is incident with edges E1, E2, E3, and E5, right? Yes. So for this, we will write here this one for E1, E2, E3, and all other elements here for here zero for E5. Yes. B is incident with edge E5. So here we have this is one and Other here zero. Now we will check for vertex C. So vertex C is incident with here edge E one, E two, E three, and E four. So we will write here in this row E one, E two, E three. For this edge here we have one. For E four also we have one and other here zero. Right. So next. For vertex D, so vertex D is incident with edge E4. So for this here we have one for this E4, and all others are here zeros. Okay. Now we will check for vertex E. So now we can check that here vertex E is not incident with any edge. So here for all edges here we have to write. Element zero. So this is incident matrix for this graph. This is of order five by six, five vertices and six edges. Okay. Now we will check observations from this matrix for this graph. Now first observation is that we can check that here. Yes, all the sums of these columns. Yes, we can check that here. Sum for this year. Yes, all these sums here are here two. This is sum of any column. This is here two. So what does this indicates? This indicates that any age, right? If we check here, age E one, E one is incident with two vertex. 
this is here B and C. Similarly, we can check age E2 incident with here 2 vertex. Now for age E6, E6 here, age, this is here self loop. So, ending, starting and ending point is here, same here. So, for this year we have written here 2. Now, next is here, we can check the sum of row. So, what is the sum of row indicate here? This is the degree of that vertex. Now, we can check here. Degree of this vertex A is here 3. That means how many edges or incident on this vertex A. Here we have this is here 1 edge E5 and this is E6. For any loop we have to consider here 2. So, the de degree of this vertex is here 2. So, again if we have to check vertex E. So, sum of this row is here. Sum of this row is here 0. So, this is the degree of here E. Yes, no edge incident on this vertex. Similarly, sum of this row here, this is here 1. So, this is represent degree of D. We can check this is in graph that only one edge is incident on this vertex D. So, here this represent the degree of this vertex D. Now, next is we can check this column, this first, second and third. These entries in these columns are here equal. This we can check that here these are the identical columns. This first three columns are identical. This represent corresponding edges E1, E2, E3 these are here parallel edges right now similarly next check this is column this is E6 here we have this here entry here single 2 right so this represent E6 is a loop here yes so this is E6 is here loop right now we can check that here all entries in this row are zeros so, this represent isolated vertex. Similarly, in this row, we have only one here. So, this represent D is a pendant vertex. So, we can check here D is a pendant vertex. Right. So, these are the observations we can find from this matrix for this graph. So, here we have discussed all these observations one by one. Yes, we can check that here. Yes, if a row contains only 0, then corresponding vertex is isolated vertex. If row contains single 1, then that corresponding vertex is pendant vertex. If age, there is a single 2, then corresponding column represent loop. Right. So, these are the observations. Now, here we have some graphs. Here we have given simple graph and multi graph. So, for this we can find incidence matrix. For this graph we can check all these observations. So, this is all about incidence matrix and its observations. Thank you.